Alrighty, so today we're doing some bonanza mode here and we're gonna go late game with the laser cannon All right, which you don't really see that often All right, and most of the time in bonanza mode you only see the ray of doom because people have plenty of money But the laser cannon it looks super duper cool It gets it gets super neglected here So we're gonna use it today and we're gonna cover the screen in laser cannons and it's gonna look super cool So if you guys are new, please consider subscribing to the channel We are only 7,000 subscribers away from 100,000 which is like the ultimate goal So please consider subscribing it only takes a second and while you're at it Drop a like, can we hit 102 likes? Well, hello there, Erica. All right, let's do this here. Now, I was gonna bring like a mob power here, but oh, we got mine, this is perfect here. But I think I'm gonna go intense tower boost or like a good tower boost here because tower boost will allow it to shoot faster. And even if it's a little bit worse than the balloon buster, it's gonna look so cool with the laser cannon, all right? It's gonna look so cool. So we're gonna bring this tower boost instead here. And we're gonna go Dartling, farm, and then we're gonna bring the ice tower just in case they have a really, really good strat here. Oh, why they skip mines? My oh oh my gosh this is like the one map which is like better than mine it's maybe like battle park or something but this is a stupendously good strat a map right here all right this is the longest map in the entire game right here so i'm super psyched for this we're gonna go for this right here um and we'll only use the ice tower if we really need to if we're really struggling if they go out like the, the most amazing strat in the history of the world here and erica's got their farm down immediately most people most players i find in lead dungeon they take a few seconds to place their farm down right here so let's go erica and you want to be placing that farm immediately because if you place it down right on round before round one you get two extra bananas all right that's an extra one uh 240 that you wouldn't normally have which is fantastic so you want to go for that here and we're gonna go for the lightning right here but look how long these balloons are taking all right these balloons take like 40 seconds to get through the map i don't know how long it is i think it's about 40 seconds here look how long it is like the red balloons they haven't even finished yet it's round two and they're still just chilling here going around in circle and circle i think they have to go around again oh no they're, do they're doing that come on don't leak beautiful we did that and look at the lightning right there the lightning's gonna clear the screen right there and so we can just rely on lightnings for early games so right now we're just gonna farm as hard as we can right here because lightning's got this right now you know we don't have to place down any other towers right here. Um, and the less we spend on defense, the more we can spend on farms right here. Like, look at our farms compared to them, all right? We're just getting up our farms and stuff. And this is going to give us a huge money lead in this game right here. So we're going to watch these blue balloons right here. These balloons will go here, they'll go around, and then they'll go like this. And then they'll go out. And right before they're out to go out, we'll use our lightning power up. And yeah, we're just chilling right now. So watch this. Boom. <sighs> Oh, I thought we were leaking down right there. There's a little bit of room right here. Like, right when balloons come out, it takes a second for them to actually go out. You know, the X is a little bit farther off the map. So, we did have a little bit of extra leeway right there. And we did not leak down, which is perfect. You know, it's nice staying at 150 lives. It's just like, everything's like spick and span, clean as a machine. <laughs> All right. Um, ooh, this thing is not collecting right here. All right, we'll sell that farm eventually. I'm going to go for one farmer this game. We'll do this. Watch these green balloons here. These green balloons are a lot faster. So I'm going to use the lightning a little bit earlier, but we want to use the lightning as late as possible here because then it, it goes into the next round here. See it popping the balloons for round six? We want to, That's why we use the lightning as late as possible here. So now we're going to go for factory as quick as we can here. So we're going to do this, 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 and we're going to hope we get enough bananas. Oh, we have enough for the darling already. So we're now going to go for a darling right down here in the lower corner here. And we want to place the darlings as perfect as possible here. The more, the better we place down our darlings, um, the more we can fit in and the more darlings we can fit in the better the more damage we'll do all right so it's just it's just the strategy here because so usually in most modes you don't have to focus on where you place your towers here because you don't have as much money but when you have bonanza mode where you have infinite money here it comes down to whose defense is the better here and your defense can be the best the better you place your towers here so anyway yo i was in french today so i was in french class today right and there's two verbs, all right? There's ajute and arite ar arite all right don't don't focus on them too much here right but um I thought that they meant, um, I thought that they both, Ajute meant to stop, but really Arate means to stop, all right? And so in class, I was supposed, I was trying to say, we, a teacher was asking us about social media, right? And I was like, yo, um, hmm, let's go for laser cannon this early. Laser cannon, beautiful. Look how cool the laser cannon looks. It's just like pew, 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 pew. It's like Star Wars-esque, you know? It's, we love it. All right, so we're gonna go for this. We're gonna go for this. Um, but so a teacher asking asking us about social media and it's like how do friendships end? All right What causes a friendship to burned out burn out and raising your hand in French is super duper scary All right, like it, it the problem with French is like there's all these little grammar rules and stuff And so it's really easy to make a mistake All right, and so oftentimes it's really scary to raise your hand in French Um, but it helps you learn right and so today i'm just like, you know what screw it I'm gonna raise my hand. It's gonna be amazing. Um, we'll get this right. All right So I thought about what I was gonna say in advance. Um, I raised my hand and the teacher called me and she's like, okay, cool. Like what, what causes a friendship to end? And I'm like, when you, um, when you add listening to the other person. All right. So I was trying to say when you stop listening to the other person, but I had the wrong verb. So it's like when you add listening to the other person and the teacher has had no idea what I meant. She's like, what, like, 
what do you mean? Like this, this makes zero sense here. And of course it made zero sense. Um, and I repeat myself again, and it's awkward silence. And the worst part about like uh, raising your hand in class is that everyone hears you. Cause sometimes if you say something like you make a mistake or you say something silly, m most of the time, only, only your friend hears you or only, only like a few people hear you. Right. But if it's in front of the class, everyone hears you. And it was dead silent. It was so awkward and stuff, but I realized something in the moment, it wasn't that bad. It really was not that bad. I survived. I'm alive. I'm playing BTD battles right now, which is super hype. And so I'd say if you're scared to raise your hand in class, go for it anyway and stuff. You know what? It's not going to matter after class. Like literally after that class, I guarantee you, no one's going to remember it. All right. Everyone's worried about their own stuff and their own lives and all this other stuff. So like, do not worry about it. So raise your hand, get the question wrong and it's a-okay and stuff. Don't worry about it. Right? So that's Alukin's lesson for the day. Look how educational these videos are. Oh my gosh. All right. They got a temple up. Yo, let's go for another laser cannon here to make sure we don't, I don't want to accidentally leak down. So I'm going to go for another laser cannon right here. We are going to go for the right side. I don't know if the right side actually does any damage at all. Um, but we might as well get the right side. Like it can't hurt to get it up. So we're going to put this farm in perfectly here to try just right in the corner here to see if we can fit two farms down here. So they're going for banks here for extra money right here. Oh, <gasps> look at this. Boom, boom, look at that right there. You see that? We can fit two farms right there. That is what happens when you take the time to fit in your, oh, looking for one up there too. Look at that, beautiful. And that is how we fit in tons and tons of farms right here. Beautiful. So we're gonna go for this. And after we get up all our farms here, that's gonna be all the money we need for the rest of the game right here. So we, we sold the farmer for, I don't know, it feels weird. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna place, we're gonna place the farmer back once we get up all our defense, just for fun. Actually, you know what we can do here? See this spot right here? Right here. Oh, we can actually place a darling. Darling's weird because it's a hitbox. It looks like it's hitbox is super big, right? But you can actually the hitbox is like shifted around the left right here. So you can you can fit one right there, which is super weird. It's kind of like it feels like a boomerang monkey in a way. Where it's it's not as small as a darling monkey, but it's still pretty decently big. You can still really fit these things in here. And you can go into the right side here. So see this right here? This right side hitbox doesn't really isn't really affected. So look at this. Even though this darling is like on top of this laser cannon right here, you can still fit it in, which is stupendous. So we're gonna go for that. I, and again, I don't know if the right side does damage, but might as well go for it anyway. We have all this money. And look how cool these laser cans look. All right, see this? Imagine the screen covering all these, especially if you like split it up. Look at that. Look how cool that looks. That looks so like, it's sick. And Ray Dooms is sick, of course. Um. But laser cannon, you know, we got to give the laser cannon some love. And that's exactly what we're doing today here. So we're chilling here. We got to collect from these banks. So let's just collect from these banks. Just make sure they're even and stuff. Um, we don't need much more money, more money than this. Like these, these laser cannons, they're about, they're less than 10,000 each. Um, and we got to over 10,000 eco here. So we're just going to wait around a little bit, get a little bit more. Oh, we can use this. Does this do anything? Oh, <gasps> these have 8,000 already. I think that did something. I don't know. Oh, dang. We're chill right here. Now they have the engineer. Wait, no, they have the ninja. They have ninja, ninja, and um the super, right? So they went ninja farm super, and then they got attack shooter as a fourth right here. And they got a really solid strat right here. Temple is really, really good against mobs. It's just the damage output is it's the it's the best Lakin Tower um damage wise. And then um then ooh, they're sending some Moab. Look at that. Can we defend the Moab? And we easily shred through it. And the ninja is gonna be a good ninja stall. So they actually have a really nice Lakin strat. So this should be actually intense, but look at this. Look at all this money we're about to get. I'm just going to cash this out now. And we're actually going to start selling the bank, which is like, Alukian, why are you selling the banks this early and stuff? And that's because we don't need a billion, jillion eco. I feel like some people, they try and go for a billion dollars. And it's like, good job, you won. But it's like, no, you, you don't need, or good job, you have more money than us. But you do not need a billion dollars. You only need a little bit, right? So we have plenty of money at this point. We're going to fit in these darlings as best as we can. Look at all this. What is this guy doing? I wanted to go late game here. Can we fit this? Oh, I don't know. We got to upgrade these to defend this rush. This rush, we will be fine against it, but it, we got to defend it. We can't just like, because if we just ignore this rush right now, it will get too close to the end right here. So let's do this and look at the laser cans. And what's cool, look at the, oh my gosh. It's shredding through multiple. That's the, I didn't know that. So the laser cans actually shredding through multiple layers right here. Even Maybe. No, it's not. See how the laser cans not appearing on the other side of the mobs. It's not really shredding through multiple, um, shredding through the mobs all the way, but it is shredding a lot. I didn't think it would defend it that well. Now, granted, we do have like $50,000 in laser cannons right here. So this isn't something you'll see in a re um, regular game that often. But that was cool. Like these things actually did a really good job. I thought that these guys things would struggle. I was a little worried right there. But we are A-OK -okay right there. Um, and now we're just going to be working our way up. So we're going to fit darlings as, many, as much as we can. I swear we can fit one right there. We have to be able to fit right there. See this one spot right here? This can make all the difference if you can fit two darlings here instead of one. So what we're going to do is we're going to really fit this one in. So we're going to go left, right, left, right. Ooh, look at this. So 
boom there we go and look right here there we go and that's how we fit multiple darlings in you you can go for it so if it looks like you can fit a, an extra darling in or an extra of any tower in go for it why not maybe you can fit another tower in and that can make all the difference right here so we're gonna go right here we're gonna see if we can fit one in the middle right here but i think the middle is too small right there we're gonna go for this and there we go so now we have that spot filled and we want to do everything by section so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this top middle section then we'll go and we'll just sell the bank section by section here all right work on one little section at a time while getting up your defense here beautiful and already the laser cans look so look at this look how cool the laser cannons look all right it's just it's so cool you know i feel it's crazy that like i haven't done this i'm sure some other youtubers have done this and stuff but i have not done this and so it's like it's like crazy after two years like there's still new things to do in btd battles which is so it's just excellent all right so we're gonna try and fit this right here i don't think we can fit another one right there oh what can you guys believe we fit one right there that's crazy oh i didn't mean to go for we do not want um a laser cannon or a hydro rock can we fit more even I think we need to start treating these like boomerangs because I've been treating them kind of like big. But can we fit one? Oh, I kind of want to go for it now. Let's let's make sure we can pop these things. And we do want to we don't want to dawdle on our defense here because if we get it up too late, this guy has rushed us. They might rush us again. If they rush us all ZMGs right now, it would be kind of uh, finicky because we don't have our defense all the way up right now. But if we put this right here. And they try and fit this in right there. I don't know. That's good enough for now right there. So we're going to do that right there. We can't dawdle too much on that. But I feel like you might be able to get in more right there if we do try our absolute hardest right there. So we're going to catch all these banks right here. But look at our money. We have over a million dollars. That is absolutely ridiculous right there. We do not need this much money right here. So we're going to sell a bunch of these. There we go. And now we're just going to start fitting, the, fitting these laser cannons in. So look at this. We can put it right, right there. And we're going to stagger these. All right. So we're going to go stagger. Look at this. Zigzag. Look how tightly we can fit these in now. Oh my gosh. That is what. That is ridiculous. <laughs> I did, this is crazy. Do you see how tightly we're fitting these things in? This is like, like the cannon, basically. Oh my gosh. This thing is a smaller hitbox than the super monkey, which I guess that makes sense. It's a little bit, oh my gosh. But you learn something new. I didn't realize darlings were this easy to fit. Look at that. That is satisfying here. All right, we're going to top. Boom. Look at that. They all aimed in one direction. And we'll just get these up just to make sure we have uh, satisfactory defense for these next few rounds here. So let's just go for a few of these. We're working at one time. And actually, we'll just upgrade one. We'll upgrade each section at a time just so we have it up, just in case they rush us here. Because most of the time when you're going late game, I would expect my opponent not to rush me. But the fact that they rushed us in round 24 says that they might be planning on rushing us soon. So we just want to be careful. Just be on the lookout. And beautiful. We'll keep getting up these drawings here. All right. And our defense looks absolutely awesome here. This is so cool looking. Oh, we love it. We love it. Look at all the lasers right here. If we get up even more and stuff, it's just going to, the middle is going to look so cool and stuff. And we can also do the darling spin. All right. This darling spin. Look at this. This, this is beautiful. All right. Is this fun? That's actually super fun. I know I did that in my other darling video, but it's like, you can like wave them around. They're like dancing they're dancing look at that oh my gosh all right let's on to onto the darlings we got we got to keep upgrading stuff so we're going to do one section at a time we're going to keep going up here we're going to do the top section here really quick so we're going to place down them all and then upgrade them all i think it's a little bit slower if you place uh, upgrade them um upgrade them one by one up place then upgrade place and upgrade so i think what you want to do is you want to just place a bunch of a section then upgrade them all place another section upgrade them all and that seems to be like the solid thing i don't really have any evidence for why that's the best thing but that's just kind of like what i do and it, it works right so that's right. Look at this darling. You can fit right over in there. We're really just jamming these darlings in here. Beautiful. And let's see. We can fit one right there. Beautiful. And now we're going to upgrade this top part. And what's great about... I didn't say this actually, but what's great about upgrading the top part is this is where the ZMGs are. So if the ZMGs... If they're rushes the ZMGs, this top part's already going to be upgraded all the way. We don't have to upgrade it anymore. Um... And what's the problem with ZMGs is it covers up the screen. It covers up your defense. So you can't really get up defense while you're being rushed. Um, and the ZMGs are covering your defense here. So that's why we do the top first, because we can work on the bottom while we're being rushed, right? The ZMGs aren't going to cover up the bottom because they're not coming from the bottom. But you guys get it. All right. <laughs> we're going to sell this, sell this. We have plenty of money at this point. We do not have to worry about money right here. We're going to just place down as many drawings as we can. And we only have this left side here. Our defense is nearly complete here. And then we can place down our, our, our lucky farm. Let's place down farmers right now, actually. Can you fit a farmer? Oh, we got to be able to fit a farmer somewhere. We just need to place down our lucky farmer, all right? This lucky farmer will give us good... Oh, we can put one right here. I know we can. There we go. Our lucky farmer, all right? And that's going to give us good luck for the rest of the game right here, all right? That's why we're going to win this game, our lucky farmer. So that's super cool. <laughs> all right. So we're going to keep going for these darlings here. And yeah, I'll see you guys when I've completed the defense. All right, so we're nearly done here. And oh, I did not mean to get a array of doom here, but um see our defense is not really popping these mobs here that's because we're not aiming it but once we're done with our defense here look at if we aim these things these things get shredded like 
beautifully right here. So even though it looks like they're shredding it better than us and stuff, not necessarily because we haven't, we have yet to aim here still. Now, what we also could do here is we could go for the ice tower here. And I think we might need to go for the ice tower here because I didn't expect this guy to be like a pro player necessarily or whatever. Sometimes you find up someone in Bonanza mode who's just like playing for fun or whatever. And sometimes you see them try hard, they're absolute, trying their absolute hardest here. And Ninja Farm Super is usually the strat you see that goes with that. And it's a really good strat. You have the stall, which gives 50% speed, which gives a huge advantage upon your opponent here. But we have the ice tower, so we could also use our stall here. So I'll think about it. We might use the ice tower here. We might not here. But there's our defense here. Look at these later again. Now we can do the dance. Look at this. Ooh, look at that. It looks cool. And these darlings, they look, they're pretty grouped together here, actually. Look at that. Look at that. And then just like that, like that right there. Look at that. That looks cool. We can aim right here. We can aim like down here. Oh my gosh. It's beautiful. I'm making sure I didn't miss a darling in here. If you miss it, I don't want to miss any darlings here, but I think we got that. That's pretty much the match right here. And then we got our lucky farm over here. How you do it? Look at that metallic screen. I never see that. I never really looked at that. That looks sick. Now we're gonna you aim our um, we're gonna aim our laser cans right here. Now they only have one temple up, mind you, but like look at this. We're gonna aim our darlings here and we're gonna see how much better we do here, all right? And we're kind of popping up about the same amount. This is actually a really close game right here. Um, I think they have used the ninja stall. I don't know if they are using the ninja stall or not right now. Um but we're kind of popping similar. We have 20% battery right there beautiful <laughs> and this is gonna be interesting right here i think the damage is really similar here because they were popping them a little bit faster right here hmm they might be popping them a little bit faster here we do have the tower boost here but it might get a little sketch and stuff we'll still see how it's going here and i have no plans on rushing them still here we're just gonna let it sit we could rush them here actually if we do want to win this here actually Hmm, but it's kind of fun just to let it sit sometimes and not rush and stuff. I feel like it's more appropriate to rush now. Like if you're going late game, this is officially late game. This is a late game territory where this is where you see rushes and stuff. I feel like it's like, it's okay to rush here because we've gone late game enough. Look at those technological terrors, the green balls. It just looks so, it's so beautiful. Like this game is just beautiful in its own ways. And Battles 2 is going to be even more beautiful um, with, with all its upgrades and stuff. Like the phoenixes and stuff, the, 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 the decals, like all the animations of Battles 2. It's going to be so sick. I'm so hyped for it. So there's that. Look at the, look at just, just like the dartlings. I can just like aim all around. All right. There we go. All right. So now we're aiming in the middle here. We're doing poppies. Now our next round is our ZMG round and we might see a boost this next round here actually. So actually I'm going to boost while we can still see it. So let's do that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh. It looks so cool. That is, that is so cool right there. Oh, I wish I didn't click the upgrade screen and accident, but that's, that is so beautiful. Can we fit like a darling right there? That's what I'm asking. Oh, okay, here we go. So we got aim at this. C, R, C, M, G's. It's about some. I don't think they ninja stalled yet, necessarily. Yeah, they haven't ninja stalled. They need a ninja stall. Um. Okay, maybe I should have waited until this to use. The, I don't want it to use the tower boost while we can still see everything. And they are clearly doing more damage here. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull out the ice tower here. The ice tower is going to keep this game going right here. And we're going to ice stall right there. Um, and the ice tower is not going to affect damage at all. It's not going to do any damage. It's only going to affect balloons and stuff. But what it's going to do is it's going to just give us more time to defend here. All right. So we're going to, we're going to rely on the ice tower here. And that's going to keep this game actually interesting here. Cause they kind of won here. All right. The laser can is going to lose, but if we both have a stall here, cause they have a stall too. All right. So it's still like, it's still like a temple versus, um, laser cannon battle. So yeah, <laughs> I need to stop being so wishy-washy. We're using the ice tower. Cause I said so. I sound like a parrot. Oh my gosh. I'm 19 years old. I feel so weird. It's like, I don't know. Just like I like closer and closer to like, I don't know. It's just so weird like growing up and like realizing that like, I don't know. I don't know. It's just weird because like, like, I don't know. Eventually at some point, like, will I be a parent? I don't know if I will have kids or not, but it's just like imagine being a parent. That's just crazy. Um, can we fit? Oh, we can fit one right there. Beautiful. So we're just going to go for as many ice towers as we can. The ice towers, let's see. Oh, we need to install this. I want to fit in one more ice tower here. So we're going to try and fit this in as best as we can but it's not really fitting in and stuff so we might just chill oh shoot oh shoot i did not see that right there okay we need a tower boost this year let's let's work on these early zmgs right here um here we go and they only sent a few i'm i'm sending i'm sending full out my friend you're gonna rush me uh, let's keep ice stalling right here keep ice stalling we're good the biggest thing about the ice stall is it's stalling the zmgs that we're not working on like we'll pop these zmgs that we are working on but the ones that we're not we need to keep them ice stalled and stuff. And we are kind of running out of ice stalls here. So you got to be careful. We'll keep aiming. And this is the longest map in the game. Keep in mind. It's a super duper 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 long map here. So we are chilling still. Um, we got to fit in those ice tower though. There it is. Come on. Come on. There we go. We're chilling. We'll continue to ice stall here. We do not want to use the mortar here. The mortar is 
Mortar's not. Okay, we gotta continue sending. There we go. We'll use the last intense tower boost right there just to get a head start on these EMGs right here. And they're popping it. They're popping it pretty well right now, but keep in mind they're using all their abilities, and their abilities will go on cooldown right here. So, right? So the Telological Territories, even though they're shredding right now, they won't always be shredding here. And so we're gonna continue to rush here. If we can defend this rush here, we might actually do pretty well. So we're gonna keep defending here. We're gonna ice stall again. Just keep these things ice stalled here. Actually, when we see them speed up, then we'll ice stall. I don't know if the ice stall stacks, where like if you ice stall, then ice stall again, it keeps things stalled. I think we stole that down again. All right. The Zunjus are making somewhat far on the side. We are out of powers completely, though. We, this is what we're stuck with here. So we're just going to try to use Ice Stall every so-and-so here. We'll watch these ZMGs. If they speed up, we'll use it. But they still seem pretty slow here. The, uh, this guy, I don't know if this guy's using the Ninja Stall super consistently here. It seems some ZMGs are slow and some, some of them are fast. Um, we definitely want to Ice Stall these, these ZMGs that are coming out right now. So we'll do that. Um, we're popping these down. Laser cannons are, are slowly chipping away. They're not doing a, a crazy amount of damage and stuff, but they're slowly chipping away fast enough that we, we are doing okay here. Just because it's such a long map here. And that is the power of balloon circles right here. Okay, 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 okay. Can we defend this rush down here, actually? This is kind of interesting. I don't know if we'll be able to defend down here. I hope we can. There's the Moabs. We've gotten into Moab layer. And what's great about the laser cannon is it's popping multiple things at once. Oh, no, we need ice stall. We need ice stall. Click way. Oh, I clicked both at once. Oh, that's a GG right there. That's a GG. That's unfortunate right there. Hmm. Actually, I'm going to boost while we can still see it. So let's do that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh. It looks so cool. That's such a, like, climb anti climb to ending. Because I think if we defended that right there, we could have won maybe. Oh my gosh. All right. We are going to leave it off right there and stuff. That still looks so cool when you click the intense tower boost. Oh my gosh. Yo, thank you guys so much. Have a great day. Be sure to brush your teeth. Also, if you want to see any other late game strategies, let me know.